Well, so we have here a book of thrift. However, despite its appearance from the First National Bank, it is not a book about saving and it is not a book about banks. No, in fact, it's a piggy bank. So what you have here is the top slot, and that is where you would put in your coin. Of course, this is old, so we have to give it a little help. And then over here is where you'd put the dollar bill. So you'd have to roll it up. And you have to roll it up pretty tight. Alrighty. And you put your dollar in. And it goes. <coughs> now these little banks were patented in 1923, but I've seen some online from as old as the 1880s. So it really just kind of depends. Uh, but this one was made in San Francisco. And the person who had it had it for the First National Bank of San Mateo County. I actually got this at an antique store in Santa Barbara. So it traveled just a couple hours. All right. <coughs> now here's the next part. I've sacrificed some money. And that dollar twenty-five, very important. So, how do we unlock it? Now, the thing about it is that these keys were special made and owned by the banks. So you would mail this into your bank, which is why it was insured for up to five thousand dollars, and they would have a special key to open it because this lid here is on a pressure plate. Of course, those special keys are hard to come by. Some people have made them, but if you find one and don't want to spend the extra money, I don't. Uh, you just use a binder clip. So as you can see, I've removed one of the silver pieces. So it looks like this. And you may, if you ever find it online, people describe it as a little man. So we've got his leg here and a leg here. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the little man's leg in through this hole. And it's actually hollow. It leads directly into the little piggy bank. So all the way down. And then the other leg goes into the side. But just for a moment because we're actually going to squeeze it over so that they fit together into the initial slot. And then this top leg is going to slide across that pressure plate and open it. And it is going to take a couple times sometimes. Oh, open it right away for us. So if you see here, this is it. And this little plate slides across and opens up so that you can retrieve your money. Of course, oftentimes if you find these in antique stores or estate sales, they won't have money inside it because they look through them. But you could use it for yourself, or maybe you'll get lucky and find one that's got a couple bucks in it. <laughs>